<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge and welcome to another recommendation video. So this one is kind of funny to me as I was putting it together because number one, um, I realized that I didn't have a video that's just dedicated to monsters. I have done some alien ones and I've done some faded mate ones and those have had like crossover with these. But when I was going through my video recommendation form, which you guys can check out down below, you're welcome to recommend a video at any time. I don't always need recommendation help, but sometimes I do. Sometimes like yesterday when I'm like, you know what? I'm tapped out of inspiration. I don't know what left what haven't I filmed a video about and then I go through it and I check my backlog of videos and I'm like I've never made a dedicated monster recommendation video also part of the reason I hadn't is that I think some of my friends have done many more extensive videos on this than me for example um Ava Reads Romance um I will link her channel down below she has made many different variations of alien and monster romances and I think my friend Samantha has as well I'll link both of their channels if you want to go check them out but you know I gotta have it in my own repertoire as well so uh one other thing before I like get into this um, I, this is by no means an extensive list. I only picked 10 different series or books that fit into this. Um, but these are all ones that like I stand by the rec. Like the books are going to be four stars or above for me, how I feel about them. So, um, and there are also some that are just so popular. I'm not putting on here like Radiance by Grace Draven and the uh, uh, Barbarian Aliens. Those aren't going to be on here. Although, I won't say there are no aliens on this list, okay, but I only picked aliens that have either, like, monster anatomy or, you know, fit into that. So, yeah, all of the ones that I'm going to be sharing, um, though some of them are more humanoid than others, they are monsters of some kind or have a monster form or a monster cock, you know, one of these. So, let's go ahead and dive into these. I like to try to keep these videos um, quicker than some others, but we know, we know how that goes. So first up, of course, we have to have, um, the lady who's been kind of a recent, like, queen in the monster area, and that's going to be Catherine Moon, and she has two different series that I'm, like, currently into. I know she has even more monster romance outside of these. Again, I'm going with the ones that I've read and loved. Her Tempting Monster series, there is The Lady of Rook's Grave Manor, um, and the second name, Company of Fiends. I was just going to say it slipped my mind, a Company of Fiends. Um, these are, are both about ladies. These are reverse harems, basically, or why choose. Um, and these are both about ladies who um, are in some form of sex work. Um, the first one, the heroine, she basically, like, she becomes like a monster mistress type of thing um, and then ends up building her own, like, fulfilling family of monsters that she's not going to have a revolving door of them. She's going to have a group that they're her men. And then the other one are our um, heroine in A Company of Fiends. She is kind of a performer at this theater where there is performing mixed with monster fucking and people can come and watch. And she falls <clears throat> for both some of her fellow colleagues that she works with there as well as some uh, a patron who begins coming um, and a few other people as well. I, I very much enjoyed A Company of Fiends and I'm looking forward to um, a Something of Kings, I think is the third one. That's supposed to be coming soon. Very excited. And then uh, another like recent-ish release by Catherine Moon that I like honestly I really really loved this was um, Games with the Orc and this one is so cute. I even have some art right now because I did just get my fancy version from is this one too spicy no it's not too spicy from um renegade romance and I adore it like they're just so cute I love them I love them um and this one is this girl named Sunny and she spent her life kind of like hiding from who she really is and when she ends um a relationship that isn't you know everything she wants it to be she goes ahead and checks out the Mos Monster Smash Agency where she's able to find an orc to see to all her fantasy dreams. And this is the them two experimenting and doing fun, sexy things together for a whole week and then finding that they maybe want to see each other after that, which I thought was super cute. So I highly recommend this one. 
Then um, recently I actually read Luxuria by Colette Rhodes. This is going to be book one in a series and this is actually an arranged marriage between a human hunter um, and hunter is kind of like a breed of people um, and our hero is a shade and so there's this truce kind of being struck between the hunters and the shades and the shades actually feed off of fear um, but when he takes his his hunter wife he realizes he doesn't actually want her to be afraid of him um, and she's actually it is her greatest desire to be a monster fucker like honestly she's had dreams since she was having her sexual awakening that she would like to be fucked by a monster and then she gets her monster husband and he doesn't want to hurt her or scare her and so they have a bit of mis bit of miscommunication in the beginning until she finally kind of like kicks him into gear and is like hey man I'm into this. I'm into this a whole lot. Um, and there are a lot of revelations that come from these two wanting to fuck each other, which I won't spoil for you because I thought they were pretty clever and I really enjoyed this. I do want to read the next book in this series for sure. Then we have Lillian Lark. Now it's kind of funny because her series has like multiple names because on the book itself they're called the Bathhouse Monster Romances, but the series on Goodreads is called, um, monstrous matches so like there's two different names for it but they basically all revolve around this bathhouse that has like a matchmaking witch who works there and the first book in the series stalked by the kraken is like about about her and then there are full-length novels in that series um including um let me see if it's listed in the back here because i just forgot the names of them oh shucks does she not have it listed Oh, Lillian, why would you do that to me? I want a list of them. I should have wrote it down. I apologize. I know there's Entranced by the Basilisk, which I really, really loved. That one was an MMF. Um, and then the two that I have are two of the novellas included in it, which is Found by the Lake Monster and Ensnared by the Werewolf. Um, and all the books in the series, like I said, have to do with finding your fated mate, but also like there is the matchmaking witch who kind of like helps it happen. Um, and I've loved all these Lillian Lark writes very sweet heroes, but there is also lots of fun kinks in them. Like there's breeding kinks and there's nodding and there's, um, I mean, there's sexy good times. So I'm very much enjoying what Lillian Lark has written. Um, and I can't wait for more from her. Um, then of course we have CM Nascosta, um, and I really want to read her historical that has like, I think she wrote the Marble Marquee. I just have not had time. I'm so far behind on some other things, but I'm actually not recommending the first Cambric Creek because it didn't work for me. It did not. I'm sorry. The Milking Farm, eh, it was not for Jen. It was not for Jen, but I did enjoy um, Sweet Berries, which is a Mothman and a human woman and um a moon blooded breeding clinic which is a werewolf and a human woman and they've actually discovered that sometimes women with fertility issues can be more easily impregnated by werewolves um and so that is something that our heroine is actually a single woman and she wants to have a child and so our hero, he's kind of a bit of a werewolf wastrel, if you will, and has heard that he can make some money um, doing this breeding job. But these two, they end up falling in love and deciding actually to like wait on getting pregnant since they like each other, wait a while um, and see if they actually want to be together and have a baby together. And I just really really enjoyed it. This one was really fun and um, it makes me want to continue the series. However, the next book I believe she's doing is revisiting um, Morning Glory Milking Farm from the hero's point of view. And so I, I won't be reading that. I was a bit traumatized enough by the first one. I can read a lot of crazy stuff and you're about to see some more of the crazy stuff I can handle. But there's something about um, a monster who resembles a farm animal and is like treated like a farm animal in the book that just it squeaks my ick factor too much and that's no shame there's no shame in any of the twisted naughty stuff you want to read but for me I just think of old Bessie and I think of Bruno the bull back home and it's like it just doesn't work for me when we think of milking his semen out of him but anyway anyway moving along um we have one that I love to bring up 
This is the Half Orcs Maiden Bride by Ruby Dixon. This one is an arranged marriage between a human woman, um, Lady Ilan uh, Lady Alanthe, and um, a half orc who her father kind of like foists her off on and she feels kind of betrayed by her father until she meets this half orc husband of hers who is so loving and caring and is so happy to have found a human woman who is tall and strong and that he won't break her when they have their like mating rituals and stuff and I just think it's so sweet Ruby Dixon does have kind of a magic about her so this is one I love to recommend it's so sweet all right, then we get to Tiffany Roberts. Now, Tiffany Roberts has quite a few that can be considered monster and um, alien and all that good stuff. There is her, like, her Kraken series, their, their Kraken series. There also is um, His Dark Craving, which is like a smoke type monster of the forest but of course I have two to talk about first I will mention their newest release which I have the alternate hardcover I got sent this for my birthday by my friend thank you Tara um, and this one is actually an incubus so he's like part fey um, he has wings he has a pierced dick his dick is also like super magical and he feeds off of women's pleasure well I guess it doesn't just have to be women but he's interested in women so women's pleasure for the most part until he accidentally in a one night stand stumbles across his mate, which puts him in kind of a dangerous position because something he didn't know is that when you find your mate, they are the only one that you can feed from anymore. And so now he has to convince this human woman who did have a one night stand with him, but isn't too interested in future one night stands. Um, he needs to convince her to want to be with him so that he can be fed because he can't feed from anyone else now. So this one was uh, super hot, super fun. Um, the hero is a little more frustrating than some Tiffany Robert heroes, but of course he wins us over by the end because they always have the squishiest heroes. You you just, you have to believe it. And then of course, the, the most monstrous of their creatures in my opinion is of course the Spider's Mate trilogy. Um, I literally cannot wait to get my Fae Crate um, trilogy by this, but I still love the original covers here. So we have Ensnared, which is the first one, and I'm actually planning to reread this very soon um, because I have, um, I have, what was I saying? I have the audiobook of the first one, and I've been wanting these to be an audiobook literally since they were coming out, and Rob said that it was never going to happen, and then their audiobooks have been doing so good that they finally agreed to do it. So these will be in dual narration, and this is, of course, the spider Catan, who is a Vrix, is the what he's called, and this little... Um, human spaceship crash lands and everyone else is stuck in their cryo sleep except for this human woman Ivy who he rescues and is taking care of her and slowly they fall in love and I just I love it so we have ensnared and then we have enthralled and then we have bound and I just absolutely adore them I love them so much and I just want everyone to read these books, okay? These are, this is some of my favorite romance, like, irrespective of it being monster or it being kinky or weird, like, Catan and Ivy are just absolutely beautiful. The things that he calls her, his heart's thread, his, like, heart's beat, like, it's so perfect. It's so perfect. I love them. I love them. I love them. And they have to be brought up in a series like this. Okay, just two more kind of series to talk about. So also, because it straight up is called Monstrous, we have to talk about Lily Maine. She has currently seven books out in this Monstrous series, but I just grabbed the two. So it starts with Soul Eater, um, and then there's Eden. And Soul Eater, he is this... When the Soul Eater got this name, because it appears that he eats people's souls when he comes to Earth every so many years. Um, really, is that what he's really doing? We don't know. We'll find out. But we have Danny, who is a human soldier. He's a very reluctant soldier. Um, and when him and some of his fellow soldiers get sent to try to set a trap for Wynn, Things get turned around on them. We'll say that to say it nicely. And 
Wynn ends up being kind of fascinated with Danny. And so he ends up um, taking him on a journey through the wastes and sharing a bit about his life with him. And the sexual tension between them is off the chart. Like, we'll just, we'll just stop. It's great. And then Eden. Eden is this big purple kilted horned big dicked monster who's always jovial and fun and hunter is a human soldier who's not as reluctantly a soldier but he isn't quite aware of the level of depravity that is happening within the military and him and his buddy charlie the rest of like their crew had gotten killed and so they were on their way to a base in the south when they discovered that that base has been destroyed and then oh snap charlie gets kidnapped by this group of monsters who wants to put him in a human monster fighting ring and eden happens along at the right time saves hunter and then agrees to help well doesn't it's not even hunter asking him um hunter is kind of like forced to accept help from Eden to be able to get to Charlie. So there's that. And then there's many, many more. There's the Reich, Gloam. Um, I guess they say the Reek. Do they say the Reek or the Reich? I don't know. My head is still a Reich because like Reek makes me think of Game of Thrones and disturbing things. So I usually don't think of that. Um, yeah, I love that series so much. It's so great. And then the last one I want to mention, because this author needs to be mentioned when we talk about monsters, even though hers are usually a little more like alien than not, but we have Desire in His Blood by Zoe Draven. And this hero is a mix of like berserker and vampire. Um, and this one is an arranged marriage. It also has Beauty and the Beast strains to it um, because he wants like revenge against her father for a death in his family that is her father's fault. She doesn't know anything about this. She just knows that there's this rich, wealthy um, creature that's willing to marry her and, you know, save her family from a debt, the debts that they're in. And so she agrees. Um, and he plans to, um, you know, just use and abuse her to get what he needs. But very quickly he starts to fall for her and realizes that that's not quite the kind of man that he's gonna be and they end up working together oh my gosh that robin just totally got a worm sorry i was watching that so i very much enjoyed this one i really love zoe draven's writing and i can't wait for what's ever next in this series it's gonna be so good i think the rest of the series is supposed to be about this hero's siblings because he has some siblings and stuff and also i just want to mention this had such a unique feel because it had the berserker and the vampire which is actually like the Berserker side of it is like Scottish lore, which is really interesting. Um, and it still kind of had some like historical romance vibes to it in a way too. Because like with the arranged marriage and with like him kind of being a lord and like owning land and stuff too. I don't know. It's really interesting. It's really unique. So there you go, y'all. Those are my monster romance recommendations. Again, make sure you check out my friends and their videos if you would like more. Um, I know that I by no means even scratch the surface there is a list on goodreads with 40 pages of monster romances so by no means have i you know even scratched the surface with it but now i have a video on the books recommending these so if you loved this video please make sure you subscribe like it it all helps me in the algorithms of our god <laughs> youtube um and make sure you check back in soon because I have new videos coming out three, four times a week. So thanks so much for watching friends and have a great day.